Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge. Here to answer your gaming and game night questions and working with you to make your game nights better. The question I'm answering today is what's in the box in regards to this now classic, highly sought after, out of print expansion for one of my favorite asymmetric board games of all time, Warhammer Chaos in the Old World. This is a board game from Fantasy Flight set in the Warhammer Old World universe before the Age of Sigmar, where you are playing the four Chaos Gods battling for control of the Old World. That is until this expansion hits that adds a fifth faction, my favorite Warhammer faction of all time, the Skaven. Note, rumors of giant rats in the sewers are highly suspect and should not be believed. So I bet you we'll find some in this box. So quickly, just off the back of the box, after I cut the train, the Horned Rat Expansion. Rising up from their under empire below the old world, a new threat has emerged to join the battle. The Horned Rat Expansion for Chaos in the Old World includes a new faction, the Skaven, and rules for adding a fifth player. Now this is cool here. This is the part I didn't even know was in this at first. A new series of Chaos cards and upgrade cards enhance the experience and bring dynamic new opportunities and strategies to all of the Ruinous Powers. So not only do you get to play five players and get a new faction, you get new abilities for all four of the original Chaos Gods. Awesome. This also includes a new series of Old World cards to provide an even greater challenge. So if you found the game too easy, you can make the Old World itself fight back a little stronger. The forces of the Empire could be improved. Note this does require the core game. You're not getting a full game out of this box, sorry. All right, here he is, have it. I could zoom in a bit, but I don't think we're gonna need to. You have the box, which this will show how old this is. Um, here is the Fantasy Flight mini catalog. What was hot when, I, when, when this was published? So you had Elder Sign was hot. Um, Game of Thrones, second edition, Wiz War. The Adventurers, can you even find that anymore? The, the, the Adventurers board game. Uh, Add for Wiz War. Rune Age, that even still around. Blood Bowl Team Manager was still in print. Space Hulk Death Angel. I don't use looking at some of these old ones. One of the first ever cooperative board games, Lord of the Rings. Anyway, the rules. That's it. Wow. Okay, then. That's it. Definitely not complicated. Expert old world cards. War Slip Chaos card decks. That sounds interesting. There's a Realm of Chaos variant. That's always cool. This is it. So I gotta say, it must follow pretty much the rules from the original game with only some new stuff. I am not gonna bother on punching this, so here you have the player board for the new Skaven player with their three types of characters. So they have clan rats. So instead of cultists and demons, you have clan rats, rat ogres, and the vermin lord. So you actually have totally different type of miniatures this team. You've got your influence, and then, of course, all these special rules for playing these characters. Now, of course, you're going to need a new um, tracker for influence, because that's how you track who's winning or not. Um, you have a new tracker for the Skaven. And then, of course, a bunch of power tokens and other tokens that are necessary. Again, I don't see a reason to take this out of the bag, I don't think. You, well, you know what? Then you can see the thickness. So, yeah, I'll take one out. I'll take it out. Somewhere in here must be the plastic grommets. So here you have the various abilities that are going to be unlocked and, and the thing. Here's your thickness. I'm sure it matches the original. Uh, your very important proof of purchase. No Fantasy Flight never, ever did anything with these. Frustrating. I still have all of mine. Of course I do. Of course I do. We're just going to leave the chaos symbol in the corner for everyone to stare at. Slowly go mad while we keep unboxing this. All right, these are the original factions. Three of them at least. So they gotta be mixed in. Uh, let's put these off to a side a bit. Oh no, we gotta leave this in the camera. Put that up there. Flip through these quickly. Okay, I do appreciate this. Clearly marked with the Skaven symbol in the corner. You got the Council of 13, the Under Empire. The various, here's your different um, clan rats, rat ogres, and vermin lords. 
There's a new reference cards. And then, so here you have these. Now we have the new Slanesh cards. And again, a new reference card. Then we have the Zinj cards. New Nurgle card abilities. Oh, including new, um, interesting. So instead of cultists, you can have lepers. So they actually have a different cultist, it seems like. Uh, then we have the corn cards. New corn cards. And new old world cards. Which are on this side, which again, the late day new event cards. Very cool. Great. I love the fact I had no clue um, until today that you were not only getting new Skaven cards, but also getting like totally new cards for all of the previous factions. Uh, the fact they gave me a baggie means I'm going to use it this case. So just dumping this in. Okay. New corn cards. Wow, not, not, not like a small amount either. Like, significant number of new corn cards. There's your Skaven cards. <laughs> There's almost as many new corn cards as Skaven cards. Nurgle cards. Oh, some Nurgle cards. There's our Slanish cards. Oh, there's more corn. Okay. So yeah, there's just as many for each faction here of these new cards. Zinch. And the rest of the Nurgle. Kind of wish they gave you five baggies. But that's cool. So here you go. And we'll quickly go through these. So these are your cards that come up during play as well as their power cost and what they do. Um, it's Chaos and Old World. These never had a lot of art. It's a lot of text. I I would complain, except it's, it's a fact of the game. So they didn't change the look at all. So it's going to be the same, but in the corn colors with corn abilities. Not a lot to show. I'm not even going to bother flipping over the other ones. So you might be wondering what else? Well, there's something missing. Miniatures. They got to be hiding. They are Skaven after all, right? I, I think they did a thematic thing here. But look at that. Skaven hidden underneath. I don't know if that was intentional, but someone gets props for that. All right. Skaven. I'm still amused that they were underneath this. So, grommets for the dial. I like that they give you two just in case one doesn't work or break. Oh, and they don't look the same. So these are unique. So the cultists actually don't look the same. So all in the original game, all the cultists look the same, but are, are different color. Um, we actually get Skaven, Skaven minis. So you can see it here. You have the Skaven banner with two actual little Skaven troops. Like that is just really cool. So you get a whole bunch of those. Then you're also going to get Rat Ogres, which are, are your, your medium demons. Like, look at that. That is a really cool small sculpt. So you got Rat Ogres. And somewhere in here should be a Vermin Lord. Here it is. The Vermin Lord, which replaces the Greater Demon. I gotta say, the Bent Spear's a little disappointing. But you know what? This isn't a Games Workshop miniature game. This is a board game. Check that out. Now, I could try the hot water trick on this to try to get that to straighten out. Actually, just bending it like that helped a bit. Oh, that's cool. That's going to really stick out on the battlefield, too, on the board. So what you have here is, um, what, two, three Rat Ogres? I think you should have three Rat Ogres and a whole bunch. Yeah, so a whole bunch of cultists. So a whole bunch of your, your Skaven. You got three Rat Ogres and the awesome Vermin Lord. That's so cool. All right, that's everything you get in uh, the Horned Rat. The Horned Rat expansion for Chaos in the Old World, which I got to say looks really simple to add to the game. To the fact, I think in this case, this is going to be a game where I don't feel the need to play the base game again before introducing this. I think I could just, like, I don't need to get a group together of four to play the base game and then add a fifth player to try it with five. I might be able to dump this right down on the table, play five players straight up. Or uh, the other option, of course, with this is you don't, from what I understand, the Skaven aren't the fifth player faction. Like you could still play two or three player where someone's playing the Skaven, someone's playing Zeke, someone's playing Nurgle, say. 
You gotta hide them again under here, because, you know, too cool not to. All right. Put this mess back in here, however I can get it to fit. All right, there you have it. What you get in the highly sought after, out of print, horned rat expansion. I can see why people uh, jump through hoops to get copies of this. This looks really cool. Um, five players to an awesome asymmetric game, totally new faction, but more impressively to me, an equal amount of new content for the existing four factions. This looks fantastic. Can't wait to get it to the table and play my grimy little rattlings. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing video. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. You can hit up our website, tabletopbellhop.com. You can support us at Patreon, Patreon slash Tabletop Bellhop. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and all those places, Tabletop Bellhop. And you can listen to the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast on your podcatcher of choice, and you can find links on our website. It's about all I need to say right now. I've got some rattlings to add to a game, so I'll talk to you later. Good day and game on.